try this again. Uh, my pop passed away about a year, a little over a year ago, and uh, he left his barn. And he left a barn full of stuff. So we can kind of take a look here. I don't want to jiggle around too much. All right, so we got all sorts of nuts and bolts and parts of buses and you can see up there little compressors. I think there might even be a might even be a blower on the shelf somewhere up there. 671 blower. Uh, got this little Polaris. It's kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, broken parts, uh, broken motors, shafts for the tractor. Uh, got a big old portable welder here. Some kind of jack. Looks like it's a pneumatic jack. Uh, but this, yeah, we took this, I don't know, it's got to be almost 30 years now. This, uh, the barn used to only uh, be, or this is the lower section of a barn. So it used to be only, if you look over where those I don't know. <laughs> Look over where that radiator is. That used to be the floor of the burn. So we dug down another four feet and poured some concrete. And up in the ceiling, we did some uh, we did some uh, interesting engineering. I'll show you that some other time maybe. But uh, it allowed for a clear span, uh, the full width of the burn, without any vertical supports getting in the way and. and he did it this way because he wanted to work on buses and he did work on buses for a while so it's long enough for a bus and the garage door is big enough for a bus to get in uh, as you can see there's all sorts of little odds and ends we got pumps and motors and uh, chains and there's bolts there's buckets and buckets and buckets of bolts uh, there's a big old set of tools, fix just about anything. You can see over there, there's buckets of bolts and nails. And all the paint cans you can imagine. More buckets of bolts and nails. There's parts, 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 and parts. Uh, so we got a few different odds and end tools. There's a, over here you see a, A bandsaw for cutting metal. There's a tire changing station, drill press, and uh, just a press for bearings and things like that. And if we go outside, oh, there's the air compressor, big old air compressor. There's a welder. We got a, I think we got a MIG welder somewhere around here. So we'll go outside, and there's all sorts of metal. Pieces of metal all over the place. Pieces of wood, got some barrels, oil barrels, uh, propane tanks. It looks like a piece off a dump truck. More propane tanks. Got this big old bus, another oil drum, oil barrel. Uh, Old snow blower and busted up lawnmowers and there's a hump right on lawnmowers and there's a whole bunch of other non-working lawnmowers. There's a busted engine hoist over there. More propane tanks. Pop was making uh, boilers with propane tanks for a while. Yeah, like this one over here. A little coal burning stove. And there's a bunch of scrap metal. There's a big old pizza oven. Scrap metal, rubber. Got some kind of old tractor or farm equipment wheel there. 
There's a gear, I guess, I don't know what it goes to. Uh, so we got all sorts of scrap metal. There's some copper. Steel tubes, there's a busted, uh, busted chop saw. Bits and parts, and some wire, and old... There's aluminum, and stainless steel. So we got everything that you could possibly need for the purposes of making or attempting to make a perpetual motion machine. And that's what is going to happen. Well, that's what's going to be attempted. Okay, over here there's uh, more bits and pieces. We got, we got rims, tires, some old bicycles, a whole bunch of old bicycles. Got a whole bunch more upstairs in the up in the upper part of the barn, you can see. So there's where we came out of. And there's the upstairs of the barn. It's got a bunch of hay in it right now. A bunch of hay for one horse. <laughs> but yeah, we got bicycles and there's a piece of a dryer, tires, some old cars. There's the snow blower that we gotta use in the winter because we get a little snow around here. Uh, a couple old cars. Uh, and there's two Volkswagens around here somewhere. There's one. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right behind it. Okay. Got a Fiero. So, yeah, take a look at the big barn. The end of it blew off uh, know, two, three years ago. Okay. Anyway. Roof needs a little work. Got a couple of spots where the water comes in. Should be able to patch that one of these days. But if you see, if you look, you can see the square metal plates coming out. Well, that was a diagonal rod that goes down to the to the ceiling inside the burn that I showed you earlier. I was, said I was going to talk about it later. I guess I'm talking partly about it now. Anyway, that's what holds the ceiling up. And both sides uh, of this barn have uh, six long metal bars that are sticking out that uh, squeeze the barn together and pull up on the floor or the ceiling, depending on where you're standing, I guess, and uh, hold the whole thing together. In the wind, this thing used to shake, rattle, and roll, and now with those uh, bars in place, it tightened everything up quite a bit. Anyway, uh, back to what we're going to do here. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and make a perpetual motion machine, uh, similar to Bessler's wheel. We got a lot of more stuff than he had back in the day. He that's if he actually made it. We don't know if he made it. But uh, if he did, we'll give it a try and try to figure out how it was done. Or try to make our own version of it. Uh, many have tried before and failed. Everybody that's tried has failed. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any oil, gas, or windmills or anything like that. Solar panels, we just have little perpetual motion machines all over the place. Uh, folks that are familiar with physics say it's impossible. Yeah, it probably is, but we'll give it a try anyway. And uh, I think we gotta have all the bits and pieces to be able to get it done. Anyway, this is the first video of uh, our attempt at building a Bessler wheel. Uh, I'll come back with more as. Uh, we start putting the shop together and start with version number one. Okay, thanks.